Welcome to What's the 4 and 1, your smart source for urban, lifestyle, and entertainment news. I'm Fizzy Cox. I am Onika McLean. And we have got a treat for you. We are interviewing the very multifaceted and dynamic artist Fatih. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Originally from Monrovia, Liberia, she is a new face of Afro pop. And she also has 275 performances under her belt. So really? You are a powerhouse, girl. Yeah, Thank you so much. Thing. Thank you for, for having me here. So wait a minute. That's a lot. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I love that. Perfect. No, it's it you is are perfect. Amazing. Yes. By yes. God's grace, I am. Mm -hmm. okay. Where you are your accent? Where are you? From. Well, okay, so I was born in Liberia. Mm -hmm. I took my first few steps in um, Abidjan. Oh, and uh, um, after the war, my family, well, before, I'm sorry, before the war, my family moved mm -hmm. to St. Louis, Missouri. So okay. if you hear the Southern twins, that's a little okay. something there. It's from, it's from St. Michigan. Louis. Oh, St. Louis. Louis, Missouri. Okay. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. So, I mean, you've been doing things professionally for seven years, correct? Like, how did you get into performing? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, see, I've been performing, so I, I told to the story, like when it first, as soon as I exit my mother's womb, <laughs> I did not cry, I was singing, I was like, oh wow, oh wow. That is so And everyone was like, you know what, she's like, look at that that So, <laughs> that so I, I pretty much been doing it, um, all of my life, since I can remember, I've been performing. Wow, okay. I, 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 rem I have a fond memory of me being on stage uh, and people, when I was an African, people were throwing money while I was dancing. So really? I've been doing this for a while, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I've been doing this. So, I was I was born to do it. Yes. So were you always, were you writing, compose? when did you start writing, composing, producing, like all of that stuff? Okay, so when I was around seven or eight, Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't know how to write, so I used to take Anita Baker's lyrics, Patti LaBelle's lyrics, and different, different, you know. Right, right. And you know, back when they had, used to have the CD covers. Yeah, you know, like, it, uh, yeah. And I used to, I'm like, <laughs> dating yourself, girl. Uh -uh, I'm not, I'm not dating myself. I'm just saying, remember, <laughs> remember when that? You know, I'm just saying that. <laughs> When no, she was no. a fetus, come yeah, on, no, I was a come fetus. on. I was in the womb, and I say, "Mama, you know." Oh, because the millennials do not know about that. They go on lyrics.com. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> but I used to put the lyrics together. My mom was like, "Babe, you can't do that. You have to write your own." So right. she get, she bought me a notebook, and I was like started writing every single day. And it was right. actually my father when I got older that really encouraged me, saying, "You know, you need to write. You need to produce. You need to do everything that's mm -hmm. behind the artist because mm -hmm. that's where the money is." It is. Right. It so, is. It's so much yeah. sense. I say that to Imani yeah. all the time. My daughter's a, a, a performer and a writer mm -hmm. and a songwriter. Yeah. It's true. And, and not even the money. That's where that's where the real the gift artistry is. is. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. artistry. <laughs> and and really like writing since I was a little kid it's like I know the sound I know my sound and some producers don't know it exactly. so that's how I had to create my own sound you know right. So. Right. right so talk about kind of your creative process because yes. you're talking about the sound and all that like how does that come together well when I'm writing sometimes it I may hear the beat right away. Mm -hmm. um, I know it's a good song when I when I can visualize the video as I'm writing. Oh, okay. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. So when I get stuck, I <laughs> I like I put the notebook down and I you know I kind of improv in my room like, like as if I'm like in the video that mm -hmm. I'm seeing and that helps me get to the next line. Oh, of right. Really? So I actually ha have a whole little performance in my own little private space as I'm writing. Yeah. Or I like I hit the table to mm -hmm. the beat or something like that. Yeah. Yes. That is amazing. That is really amazing. So you have like this EP out right mm -hmm. now, and there's a lot of great. Every song is good, y'all. Every song is good. Nice. You guys Talk gotta about check it out. We're gonna have the links to um to this video, right? We could do that. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what we're gonna do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talk mm -hmm. about some of the inspiration behind some of those songs. Cause you have like some really great songs, very inspiring and motivational as well. Mm -hmm. What is it about? So okay, what's well, the name of my album? It's called Give Me More, and the reason why I call it that because when you hear it, you're gonna want more. Is this your first this album? This is my, my very first album. Very this first is my album. baby. This is your baby. Oh. My baby. So how many songs on your EP? Eight songs. Okay. Eight mm -hmm. songs. I wanted nine, but I'm saving that one. Mm -hmm. That's that's like my. Are you that's self? My are you self okay. producing? Mm. Or? I am. I um. I am self. I'm self. I'm working with other producers as well. Mm -hmm. um, a producer in Africa. His name is Tubi. Mm -hmm. Um. So I'm working with him and my brother. Um, so we all work together. He's your biggest hype man. He, no, is. he is such a hype man. That's my we manager too. We so. were in there and he yeah. was like singing with it and like, yeah, yeah, you got your full attention kids. You need to look at this. I'm like, okay. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> I missed it. 
It's a party. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Yeah, no, no, you, you get in. All right, cool. Thank but, you. Um, I, um, it, before that, I decided, before um, I created my album, I wanted to uh, quit my job to pursue Broadway. Oh, so really? I, I, what were I, you doing before, just out of curiosity? I was a fitness and nutrition coordinator oh. for a non-for-profit organization. Oh, okay. So nice. I was working in public health. But was it in Africa or here? It was actually in Chicago. Okay. It was in Chicago. How'd you get to Chicago? I went to Columbia College okay. in Chicago. Nice. So I grew up in St. Louis uh -huh. and then college I went to Columbia. Okay. Yeah, I went to Columbia and uh, I studied music management and after college I decided to, to pursue Broadway. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> uh -oh. singer, whatever they wanted. Triple threat. Wow. Whatever they yeah, wanted. I was, everything. I was, was ready. Yeah, so I went to the interview. I thought that I didn't have to audition. They were just going to see me. They like, you know, <laughs> like, like uh -huh. you Yeah, know, right. <laughs> it didn't work out that way. <laughs> right. <laughs> Next. <laughs> like, so, yeah. so it was really discouraging. So my dad, he called me and he was like, you know, why don't you just come to Africa, clear your mind? Because I wasn't working, so I was able so to. So your dad lives in Africa? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. lives in Africa. So mm -hmm. I, you know, so I, I went to Africa and he sat me down. He was like, well, when you were younger, you wanted to be a singer, mm -hmm. you know, you, you wanted to do this. Are you serious about it? I'm like, yeah, I'm serious. And he was like, okay, if you're serious, the family and I will support you. That is a beautiful thing, because yeah. a lot of times African families, even Caribbean families, they want you to be the doctor or the lawyer or this or that. I'm like, singer? It's like, what? Well, Liberia is a what? little bit different, because Liberians yeah. were in America, right? Mm -hmm. And then they I'm went so back. I just go to, I'm, I'm grateful. Right? I'm grateful. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm like, grateful. Mm. Like, my, my family, they believe it. Believe it. Well, we believe pretty much. We're really tight. So mm -hmm. we we support each other. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever your dream is. Like, oh, okay, you want to be an actress? Okay, baby, go. That's beautiful. That's, 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 that's beautiful. My so my father's like, you're going to do it. Make sure you write. Make sure you produce your thing. Make sure you do it. So I gave myself a year. Mm -hmm. to uh, complete my album, to write my album. Mm -hmm. um, I did it in five months. I locked That's myself incredible. up in the, my apartment in Chicago. I did not go out. Um, I had food uh, sent to me. Um, the only time <laughs> I left, Eats. Uber Eats, so yeah. It, it, the only time I left was Wow, you, know, to you go guys walking. listening to what she is saying? <laughs> this is she it. puts this is everything on hold. For her dream, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't go anywhere. I didn't go to any clubs. Nothing. I just, for, like, for the five months, I um, and yeah. I, I had to because they were putting pressure on me. Right. My family was like, "Did you write yet? Did you write yet? Did you write yet?" I'm like, <laughs> did so how that? did you, you know it was complete? Uh, I think I was just tired. <laughs> he was like, "I'm done. I'm done. I'm done." This is it. Right, right, right. Oh, this was it. But I actually, I did the six songs. So when we, okay, so when I did six, he said, "Okay." When I, okay, I didn't know my father. Okay, mm -hmm. I didn't know the genre I wanted to go into. Mm -hmm. um, after I finished writing it, after okay, so when I before I put pen to paper, mm -hmm. I speak out into the universe what I want the song to feel like mm -hmm. and how I want people to. Oh, you know, that's what it's I do. Very so I sit, I sit, process. yeah, I sit quietly and meditate, meditate, I mean. and either sometimes it comes when I'm sitting quiet or when I'm listening to other music or you know just mm -hmm. happens. So. Um, what was I saying? I you were talking that. about the genre. You didn't know what the genre oh, was going to be I didn't yet. know the genre right. that I was, that I was going to do. And when I was finished, I was like, this has an Afro pop, Afro beat type feel. I was like, I want to do my album in Africa. Oh. I want those authentic sounds. I want to work with uh, producers yes. that were from Africa. I want to go back to Africa and do my album. Like, that is amazing. Actually, um, no, I went to Abidjan. And you know Abidjan, what? Yeah. Hold that thought. Because okay. I want to talk about a whole Africa segment when we come back. Keep it locked, guys.